Okay, last portion of Colossians 3 that we're going to study is starting in verse 23, New King James. It says, And whatever you do, do it heartily, as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. So simple words, but hard to do sometimes because we don't work for the Lord physically, right? We work for him spiritually, but we've got this, you know, boss person. Um, if we work outside the home or, you know, whatever we're doing, we're, we're typically in authority to someone else. And we have to make sure that A, we honor the authority, but B, that we always remember that we serve Jesus first. So as Paul was talking about this, you know, he was speaking to the church and specifically there were, you know, slaves there. So those slaves, you know, had masters. And so he was reminding them that just as we have a master in heaven, um, for them to remember their master in heaven as well, and that they are working for him and that it says whatever we're doing. And that that's hard sometimes when I know I've been in positions and roles where like, I didn't love what I what I was doing and I didn't love maybe who I was working with or working for, but that doesn't matter, right? It's just saying whatever we're doing, you know, whether it's laundry or, and I have a lot of laundry with four boys, um, or cooking, which I'm not great at, um, or, or, or just going to work, you know, whatever it is we're doing, let's do it with our full heart not as we're working for, for man, for this world, right? Because we talked about how our mind has got to be set on things above. So if we're, we're setting our minds on things above and we know who we are in Christ, then it's easier to serve the Lord versus thinking about how am I serving, you know, the physical world that we go in. So whatever you do today, whatever it is, whatever tasks you got on your list, whatever's on your calendar, whatever interactions you're having, whatever you do, remember you're doing it for the Lord Jesus and your reward is with him and it's for him and it's for his glory. So know that, trust that and go after it today.